Pep Talk UK Pro Bees in my kitchen. This is where I prepare the jollof ahead of the big games. This is where the plantain is fried up. This is where it goes down. Now, big, big game for Arsenal tonight at the Mestaya in Valencia, where Arsenal take on. Valencia uh, going into the game with a 3-1 advantage courtesy of Lacazette in inspired form at the Emirates. And we need to talk a bit about it and, and we need to recognise the importance of this game, which means either side who wins tonight goes through to the Europa League final in Azerbaijan. Lovely Azerbaijan, by the way. And basically... Um, gives us a little bit more entertainment um, football wise I mean the Champions League games Spurs have shown the way Liverpool have shown the ways both teams coming back from the dead to reach the Champions League final so that's added just a little bit more pressure on the two remaining sides Chelsea and Arsenal but we focus on Arsenal now Arsenal yes they won 3-1 in the first game um, but there were moments in the game where I felt Valencia uh, exposed Arsenal a bit pace-wise as well. Arsenal with Mustafi uh, and an ageing backline um, showed a bit of vulnerability. And so much so that Valencia got that important away goal. And in this game, in the Mestalla, uh, Valencia, for me, potentially can cause an upset should they get an early goal. Now... If you remember, many moons ago during Arsene Wenger's tenure, Arsenal were eliminated uh, courtesy of a John Carew goal in the Champions League knockout stages, which broke many of the Gooners fans' uh, hearts. It was a terrible thing. I mean, I for one was one of them who was uh, heartbroken by that defeat. Now, Valencia, if they were to inflict a similar defeat of such proportions on Arsenal. Equally, I think it would do the same, uh, bearing in mind their North London labours. Spurs <clears throat> have got through to the Champions League final. Um, the, the Spurs fans would love it if Arsenal failed tonight in the style. Now, crucially, Arsenal, for me, <clears throat> if I look at where the game could be won or lost, well, where it can be lost is Arsenal's back line is extremely slow. Valencia have two rapid uh, players up front. We talk about Guedes, who, uh, yes, he flopped at PSG, but he's in fine fettle, uh, six and last ten. And he, uh, if you saw the first leg, he has pace that needs to be uh, recognised as a, a serious goal threat. And then you've got Rodrigo. Rodrigo is another player that I was pairing over years ago and I still rate him. I wouldn't mind him at Arsenal. He's a player, again, equally of a lot of pace. Arsene Wenger looked at him a few years ago in the January transfer window. The move didn't materialise, probably because of money. You know, Arsenal the money. But since that point, he has uh, he's, he's been a very good player for Valencia. And he's been a consistent member of the Spanish squad. And Rodrigo and Guedes, um, they need to exploit, you know, the back line of Arsenal. Who, apart from maintenance Niles, do not have any uh, significant pace to uh, recover should balls be played in between the lines. Now, crucially, Arsenal are going to have to play a bit deep and ensure that Valencia do not get behind Arsenal. Um, the likes of Socrates, uh, Koscielny, Monreal, they need protection from uh, Xhaka. Maybe Guendouzi might play to stiffen up the midfield. But if uh, Xhaka is going to lead the this, this side out, in midfield especially, he needs to uh, not make any mistakes and 
ensure there is a screen uh, in front of that back four. Arsenal, for all their frailties and lack of form in the Premier League, uh, are pretty dangerous up front themselves. I mean, they have two quality strikers in Lacazette, Aubameyang. Uh, these guys, uh, they can win games on their own. Um, Aubameyang is rapid, 26 goals in all competitions uh, this season. Uh, we know what um, Obama Black Clark Yang is all about. Shout out troops. And Lacazette is a man for the big games. Uh, all of Arsenal's games against quality opposition, Lacazette has always stepped up to the fore, which is why he has uh, been voted as the player of the season for the Gunners by uh, the club itself. So Arsenal um, have to hit Valencia on the break early, I believe. Uh, get an early goal, quiet the, the Valencia fans and really break their spirit early on. And then Arsenal uh, should, should. I've seen Arsenal concede some big goals, um, well, concede some big leads and let them slip in the past. So they should, if they get an early goal or they keep Valencia frustrated until late in the second half, make it through to the Europa League final where I fully expect Chelsea to meet them there, um, hazard and all, and we will have a Champions League final with two English teams, Liverpool and, and Spurs, and we'd have a Europa League final with Arsenal and Chelsea. Does it get more lit than that? I think not. Well, let us know what you think. I have... I will be having the jollof ready, the plantain ready, and all the Ghanaian dishes to uh, get me uh, fully ready for this massive game for the Gunners tonight. Uh, Pep Talk UK, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Repping the Pep Talk boys, Pro Bees, we out, y'all.